Daily Words of God God Himself is truth, Himself possessed of truth, and He is the source of truth. Every positive thing and every truth come from Him. He can pass judgment on the rightness and wrongness of all things and all events. He can pass judgment on things that have happened, things that are happening now, and future things yet unknown to man. He is the only judge who can pass judgment on the rightness and wrongness of all things. And this means the rightness and wrongness of all things can only be judged by Him. He knows the rules for all things. This is the embodiment of truth, which means that He Himself is possessed of the essence of truth. If man understood the truth and achieved perfection, would he then have anything to do with the embodiment of truth? When man is made perfect, he has an accurate judgment of all that God does now and the things he requires, and he has an accurate way to practice. Man also understands God's will and knows right from wrong. Yet there are some things man cannot reach, things which he can only know after God tells him of them. Can man know things yet unknown, things that God has not yet told him? He cannot. Man cannot make predictions. Moreover, even if man obtained the truth from God and had the reality of truth, and knew the essence of many truths, and had the ability to tell right from wrong, would he then have the ability to control and govern all things? No. That is the difference. Created beings can only ever obtain the truth from the source of the truth. Can they obtain the truth from man? Can man furnish it? Can man provide for man? He cannot, and that is the difference. You can only receive, not provide. Can you be called the embodiment of truth? What exactly is the essence of the embodiment of truth? It is the source that provides the truth, the source of governance and sovereignty over all things and it is also the standards and rules by which all things and all events are judged. This is the embodiment of truth.